From frogs that you can literally look through to underwater creatures that glow, here are the top five terrifying hybrid creatures created by scientists. Number five on this list is the Liger. I feel like this is one of the most famous hybrid creatures that scientists have ever created. I remember as a kid thinking that these things were just some of the coolest animals ever. As an adult though, I can see how these guys could be a bit scary. A Liger is the offspring of a male lion and a female tiger. These Ligers are bred in captivity and can't produce young of their own once they're alive. The Liger contains the features of both the male lion and female tiger, but they have some certain characteristics of their own. The most notable characteristic and what makes this a pretty scary animal is its size. Tigers and lions are already pretty big animals. They're the biggest cats in the world and some of the fiercest predators. The liger is bigger than both of them. The reason this liger grows larger than them is because a female lion has a gene to dampen the growth effects of lions, resulting in lions growing to the proper size. Female tigers don't have this gene at all, so you end up with these massive beasts that dwarf tigers and lions. These animals can grow to be over a thousand pounds, which is just absolutely massive. The thing is that they often come with a lot of problems. The breeding of these creatures is often looked at as unethical because these animals come with a lot of birth defects that often lead to a very short life. Nature didn't intend for lions and tigers to breed, so it's natural that there would be some problems with the process. Either way, a massive jungle cat that dwarfs the king of the jungle is still pretty scary to me and not the type of animal I'd want to get in the cage with. Number four on this list is the glowfish. Glowfish are hybrid fish that are bred to do exactly what you'd expect them to do glow. Scientists in Singapore were looking for a way to make the fish glow. This wasn't just because it could look cool or maybe even scary. This was because the water pollution levels were getting bad and they wanted a way to be able to see the fish in polluted and muddied waters. So rather than clean the water and stop polluting it, they decided to try to make the fish glow. They took some genes from jellyfish that make the jellyfish glow and then basically added these to the fish. And sure enough, it worked. They now have several different kinds of glow in the dark fish that you can even buy as a pet. In fact, they've become rather popular and I will admit they are pretty cool. I think the little fish that we've worked on so far aren't as terrifying as some of the other creatures here, but when I was first reading about this, I was thinking about some other creatures that this could happen to, like a shark or a giant squid. If I was underwater and ran into one of those that also glows in the dark, not only would I be dead, but I'd also be freaked the heck out. Number three in this list is the Gen Pet. So the Gen Pet is actually a pet made by scientists that you can buy in a box. GenPets.com says, we use a process called zygote microinjection, which is quickly becoming a favorable method to combine DNA or to insert certain proteins from different species. Most notably, it was used in 1997 to splice mice with bioluminescent jellyfish and has since been used to create glowing rabbits, pigs, fish, and monkeys. Since then, human DNA has been injected into rabbits, chimpanzees, spider DNA into sheep, and now gen pets have arrived. Apparently, you can buy multiple different types of gen pets with multiple different personalities. Pretty cool, right? All right, I'll stop punking you guys. Gen pets are not real. The reason that I included them on this list is that for a long time, people thought that they were. If you go to the Gen Pets website, it really is super convincing. The way that this was marketed when it came out as well really had people buying into the legitimacy of these Gen Pets. They're super creepy looking things that I frankly wouldn't want to have as a pet, but I guess if you could grow it from a box, then I guess that'd be kind of neat. Sadly, we are unable to do that yet though. However, I could totally see something like Gen Pets coming out in the future that is actually real, and if they did look like this, then yeah, that'd be pretty terrifying. Number two on this list is the see-through frog. That's right, folks. Scientists have literally concocted a see-through frog in a lab. NBC News says, Scientists at Hiroshima University have succeeded in breeding see-through frogs, an innovation that could cut down on future dissections. Samida, an amphibian specialist who led the university's research team, said the transparent skinned frogs could become widely used in scientific research because internal organs and blood 
blood vessels can be observed without dissecting the creatures. Scientists have long known that certain recessive genes resulted in pale skinned frogs, Samita explained. The researchers were delighted to find that under the right conditions, second generations of pairs of frogs with those recessive genes produced transparent offspring. Now these frogs are definitely kind of creepy guys. Like they're cool, I'll give you that, but seeing the inside of an animal as its organs are literally moving around and doing stuff is a lot. I do like the idea of this though. The main reason they did this was to cut back on dissections of the animals. I remember dissecting my frog in grade 10 and that was definitely an experience that I think I could have avoided. I don't know if having to handle a seafood frog would be a lot better though. Taking a look at some of the pictures of these guys is already a bit unsettling, but at least this might save a few froggy lives. And finally number one on this list is killer bees. The origin story behind killer bees is truly something directly from a disaster movie. IFL Science says, It started as a humble attempt to increase honey production during the 1950s and ended in thousands of newly created killer bees accidentally escaping, amounting in a trail of bee stung bodies across the Americas. It all began in a lab near Rio Claro in Brazil around 1957. Biologist Warwick E. Kerr was commissioned by the Brazilian government to create a species of bee that produced more honey honey. European species of honeybees had been introduced to South America, but unfortunately, they proved to be fairly unproductive in the sleepy heat of Brazil. Kerr and his team eventually created Africanized honeybees, now known as killer bees, through selective breeding of the African honeybee with various European honeybees. Initially, it was a success, as the new hybrids seemed to do a much better job of producing honey. There was one big downside though. They also adopted some extreme colony defense instincts. Then came the decisive moment. Somehow, under hazy circumstances, thousands of these bees managed to escape. Since these killer bees have gotten out into the world, over 400 people have died from them. Which is crazy to think about because these bees don't have any more potent venom than regular bees. Their sting is just as harmful as a normal bee that you'd see your walk by on your local hike. What makes these bees so killer, what makes them so deadly is their temperament. The killer instinct to fight instead of flee. To go after any threat that is in their way and do so as a team. These bees will literally chase a human being for over half a mile before finally giving up and going back to their hive. Think about having to run as fast as you can for half a mile from a swarm of bees. A regular bee doesn't want to sting you, it only ever wants to do so if it feels that you're a major threat. These bees sense that you're a threat and then turn into a threat of their own. And all of this could have been avoided had scientists not decided to play with nature. This is one of the few instances in history where we've taken an animal and completely changed its attitude but had it maintain the same physical characteristics as the original animal. It would be a really cool science experiment had it not been so deadly up until this point. But there you have it guys, that is our list of the top 5 terrifying hybrid creatures created by scientists. Please let me know in the comments down below what you thought about this list and some other crazy hybrid creatures that you've heard about. Also please hit the like and subscribe button, thank you so much for watching, I've been your host Nicholas Playlog and I'll catch you next time.